Jennifer, I, one of the fun aspects to see play out within the drop is that we see very two different uh, types of parenting aspects on display. How fun was it to kind of go off each other? Because there's that great exchange where you're talking about Mia adding the Joe Rogan experience to the Spotify and you're like, motherhood has really changed you. And that had to be fun to just play as, you know, the characters are kind of diverging despite being in love. Totally. I mean, we're there on this trip to get married and yet maybe the most in the history of our relationship, not quite fully aligned. And I think for Peggy, you know, especially considering that their baby is dropped and it's just going to make make me a spiral out even further down this crazy path that she's starting to go down. I think it's really important for Peggy to just keep everybody together, keep everybody calm, keep everybody focused. And, you know, more than more than anyone, she's focused on Mia. Uh, this is not Peggy's friend group. She really only cares about Mia and Ani and everybody else can like deal with their crazy stuff. But I'm focused on on my wife and my baby for sure. And then uh, Aparna, I wanted to ask you, you know, your character is so protective after becoming a mother. What did you find most interesting about that to play with? Uh, because it leads to some great comedy. I was just in stitches when you yelled out, you know what? I'm a libertarian. Like, that was just <laughs> such a great line. Well, I think what really interested me about the character is just how she went, basically did a 180 uh with her own principles after becoming a mother, like before she was very diehard liberal. And then she kind of starts verging into more right wing views. And it just really fascinated me, like internally, what can make that change in a person. And, and the fact that the incident is the baby being dropped feeds into her increasing paranoia and suspicion about the world being a dangerous and untrustworthy place. So I think just having that permission as a character to be like, yeah, I'm right. Like this is, I, I am like my paranoia is confirmed and I am allowed to just behave like a unhinged person. Jennifer, uh, you have like some great uh, interactions with Alicia Henning, who just had me in stitches in the entire film. He's this teenage anti-masturbation advocate in the movie. How was it working with him? Because I, I thought he was like constantly a scene stealer and has such a bright future. Yeah, he was really funny. That that scene that we have together where I'm I'm putting the baby down and he kind of comes in to talk to me about, you know, some some, you know, body things of the teenage boy he was so funny and really natural and great and actually your background photo of of that uh of that rehearsal dinner reminded me of when we were filming out of nowhere all of a sudden a salamander like a little lizard just dropped from the ceiling straight into his hair and was crawling around on his head and I don't think that we were able to use it for the film because the camera was on the wrong side so you couldn't even see it but it was so funny and and just the way that he took took everything in stride was really hilarious I, I think you, you're right I think it does have a bright future. That's incredible. And a partner, I wanted to ask you about, you know, the rehearsal dinner scene, because it is such a wonderful disaster. What was your favorite memories from just shooting that? Yeah, I mean, I think it just uh, proved like what a great cast it was, because everyone was so genuinely nice and hilarious. And when you got to do these group scenes, you could just, you know, in addition to being on your character's journey, just like genuinely enjoy watching other people perform like Robin doing her one woman show excerpt like it just yeah it just felt I felt so lucky because I was like I would watch these people on my downtime and I get to do it for work so this is the best definitely and Jennifer I really liked that you know after all the comedy and mishaps there's like a real lovely marriage ceremony that you two get to do how is it exchanging the vows and you know actually getting to play that one scene straight because it was really nice I loved that scene. Uh, you really kind of see the depth of emotion and and love between Mia and Peggy and the actual reason that they are all down there. Um, and I just, I thought it was really lovely. I think Sarah uh, wrote wrote those those vows and she said you know just say them like you're saying them to your your actual spouse in real life and that really helped. 
um, you know, just to kind of like tap into the, the depth of, of those words and what they, what they actually mean to them. Um, it was, it was beautiful. I mean, it was also the most stunning location that oh, you, yeah. you could imagine. So it was really, and lovely. we shot that scene first. So it was like, we started out beautiful and then we kind of spiraled. It was the reverse of the movie. Yes. <laughs>